guest on the on the on the show to find out what he thinks about your song because he also seems to be concerned about it. So I shouted about Galamsey a few years ago, and he is also doing something about it. He's actually the uh, MP for Damongo and also the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources. It's called, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's called Abu Jinapo. Wow. So he's joining us. He's actually <clears throat> in Scotland taking part in a very important uh, conversation, a uh, uh, conference. But he's joined us tonight to share a few thoughts on this <clears throat> Galamsey fight. Honorable, good evening. Yes, sir. Good evening, my good friend, Bernard. How are you doing? Good evening to Stone Boy. Good evening, Honorable. Yes, sir. <laughs> are, are you still at the conference? Because you look very formal and serious. I thought by now they're close. Uh, <laughs> I just got back from the conference, actually, not wow. too long ago. So this is the Climate Conference? Yeah, this is the COP26. This is a conference of parties wow. for mm. the UNFCC. Have they asked you about Galamsey deforestation and all those things yet? Oh, but deforestation is at the center of the whole climate action efforts. Um, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but um, forest contributes to 30% mm. of global emissions. And as they say, forest is a quote, the lungs of the earth, end quote. And so forest is key. I mean, yesterday, President Akufuado delivered a, a high profile statement on land and forest use. In other words, how we're going to have to organize the forest sector in a manner that will contribute to halting climate change. And today, I've had a series of speaking engagements, uh, beginning with the um, uh, lowering of emissions by as related to forest finance, the Leaf Coalition, of which uh, the U.S. envoy on climate change, Honorable John Kerry, raised the occasion, which is the attempt to raise financing to deal with forests and several other engagements. I mean, forest is, is key, is cardinal, and mm. of course, I seized the opportunity. And yesterday, the President did so as well mm. to underscore our efforts in dealing with illegal mining in Ghana mm. and, and how we think by so doing we will come to grips with the issue of forest uh, <coughs> degradation and deforestation and thereby mm. contribute to the global efforts at halting climate change. So mm. Kalamse and illegal mining is key. Mm. Yesterday was a busy day for you, so I'm not sure you've heard the song because he released the song yesterday. November 3, and that was quite one of the, the busy days in the conference. So I don't know if you've heard Stone Boy's new song, Greedy Men. Well, I've heard the, the snipers of it. It came to my attention yesterday. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to listen to the full version, but, but I, I, I did hear snipers of it. But that's even besides the point. I mean, let me use the opportunity to commend and thank uh, Stone Boy, my very good friend for <laughs> this intervention and uh, to say to him that it is a very uh, noble and patriotic gesture that he's taking. As you know, as you know, Bernard, from the very beginning on the instructions of President Akufuado, we've been working to ensure that our renewed commitment and effort to sanitize the small scale mining sector is broad based. And I'm sure this is a word I've used multiple times that is broad based, is um, uh, multifaceted, it galvanizes all the stakeholders and actors in our society, whether it's the political class, the uh, government, civil society organizations, faith based organizations, media people, and celebrities like. Stone Boy, all of us together to be able to deal with this canker. Because truly, let's face it, this is a national problem, it's a national issue, and the consequence of it uh, impacts on all of us. Of course, government must take the lead role, and government will have a much more um, primordial uh, role to play. But the kind of intervention by Stone Boy and others is welcoming. I feel encouraged about it. And I want to commend him highly for this intervention. Mm. Thank you very much. I, I, he has a word for you. So, Stoneboy, your minister says he, we've done what he, I don't know what well, you have to say to um, him. Thank you very much, Honorable. I'm touched by this because, um, honestly, as it's obvious, this is not like most often it should be politically backed, but it is not. And this tells you that the citizens are listening, you know, to the president's call for us to all participate 
in actually helping to eradicate or cut down on certain things that affect us generally. And I think it is because of lack of, it's because of lack of employment in these areas and lack of commitment of the legal mining companies to, 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 to serve and, and, and do what they, they promise or they are supposed to constitutionally probably do for these communities because how can cities that produce these minerals that we export to the world and definitely the foreigners gain more out of the least they can do is to make sure the, live, the livelihoods of the people in those communities are even up high standard than in Accra mm. because mm. they are those that vomit these minerals so but in the in the end you see it's, it's upside down Mm. So it, it hurts, and I'm a, cit I'm a citizen of Ghana and a Ghanaian son and you guys, brother. I have so many fans over there who just want to make ends meet. So the only option is to go in for Kalamse, and it is high risk, it's dangerous. They're dying, they're not using the right tools, and, and we find out that it's mostly the foreigners who are behind this exploiting mm. our land. And so I'm actually in full support of this as, 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 as a well-known celebrity mm. in Ghana and in Africa. So the least I can ask is your support also so that we can all, you know, sound the alarm. Because I can assure you that many people will listen to the voice of Stoneboy and the voice of the musicians easily mm -hmm. than they would want to go and take a tape of the president yeah. at the climate pr program to watch. Mm. So I mm. think this is a great avenue mm. to actually engage your, your son to, mm. you know, spread the news minister you have the last word on this point well let me let me just uh, 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 say thank you to him once again for taking that step the detailed contours of this discussion i believe we can find an opportunity between myself and him to to have a, an in-depth discussion on this matter the matters of employment and the issues of uh, the deprivation in, in mining communities and what we have to do about it. It's historical antecedents and where it began from and how the structures of the mining industry have not been properly constructed over the years, many, many years ago. They didn't begin today. A lot of work has been done now to restructure the mining sector. The issues of local content and digitalization of the sector itself and seeking to retain the value chain and the tools we've deployed recently to the Minerals Development Fund and the Minerals Income and Investment Fund. And all of those are efforts we are making to ensure that the indigenous localities and uh, uh, the Ghanaian people get to benefit from the mining industry and these resources that God is giving to us. But those are matters that I don't think we can exhaust on this platform. Mm. Suffice for me to just commend him for the Thank you very uh, much. the step the even the thoughts and the, the step is taking mm. in 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 bringing out this song i think it helps all of us must uh, pull our wings together to be able to deal with this i'm saying menace because it affects everybody in ghana mm. and it impacts on our society yeah, Th thank, thank you. you we wish you successful deliberations thank you very much. Uh, at the cop 26 i hope we'll see you shortly thank you that was honorable Abu Jinapo, he is MP for Damango, Minister for Lands and Natural Resources. He endorses the campaign. He says he will meet you. Charlie, you're a big man. So when he comes back, you have interactions with Thank you very much for the opportunity, I must say. Mm. I'm really grateful. We'll come back to talk more.